Ouch. God damn it. Hey everybody, good morning, it's Rifka. I know it's been a long time and I haven't filmed a video since May, I think my first video was. However, I am back on my grind and I am gonna make a video today. I'm sorry, I'm really annoyed. Today I'm gonna be doing my skincare routine. It's not been really long, 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 long awaited because no one's asking for anything. But I um, tweeted how I feel like my skincare right now is really immaculate and I, I've i really had trouble with my skin for a while. Like my, like if you saw me like two, three years ago, my skin was atrocious. Hold up, I gotta pause this because I'm watching Grey's Anatomy, my, Grey's Anatomy in my room and I feel like you can hear it. So let me, let me pause that. Okay, so it's been long awaited. If you knew me like two, three years ago, you would know like maybe last year, like maybe like two years ago and then last year, my skin was like atrocious. I like, I used to eat a lot of sugar, like I'm a candy fiend, but I tried to cut that out of my diet a little bit because I'm trying to make my skin get back to like a smooth plane, okay? So anyway, um, I am gonna be filming my skincare routine today. I. I tried to film this before and I had the most garbage setup like I posted on my snap story and I it was like literally balancing on a um, blow dryer box, two three wood candles, a planner and five books from the bookshelf and it was just like so it was just not it. So I decided to delete that and refilm it and I brought my tripod into the bathroom because I thought it would be too big to fit in here but it's actually not and I actually figured out a way to film this and make it look like you know kind of nice so I'm going to do my skincare routine today and I'm very excited um I have combination skin it usually depends on the season but like sometimes it gets a little bit more oily than most so I use a certain type of moisturizer we'll get into that when I get there um but yeah I'm really excited to be back I took like a hiatus mostly because I had school and I had I just moved out and also I was very lazy and everyone told me when I first made a YouTube that I can't be lazy and that I have to be consistent and I was like oh yeah I'll be consistent and now everyone's mad at me so now we're back in action um, we're gonna get started I'm gonna stop saying we're gonna get started and we're actually gonna get started and I'll see you guys in like five seconds in. okay so Let's get started. I'm so glad I figured out how to do this because you know when beauty gurus do like their makeup routines or whatever? I'm trying to like make sure I look at you guys. I feel like if I look in the camera, I'm like making eye contact, whatever. So you know how beauty gurus like do their morning routines and they're in the mirror and their things like are like in the mirror and you can like see it. Yo, is my mirror dirty and can you see that on screen? No, you can't really tell. It's a little, a little, a little dirty. Um, you could see like on the screen them looking to the mirror and doing their, their, um, their routines or whatever. I never really know how to do that without getting the ring light in the mirror and I finally figured it out. So yes, this is gonna be a great video. Okay, let's get started. First off, I'm gonna start off with um, tying my hair back and putting a headband on. Now this headband is a little dirty only because um, I use it to, I use it when I wet, wet, bleh, wash my makeup off. So obviously there's gonna be like a little bit of makeup on it. I'm washing it soon. So I'm just gonna pull my hair back and I'm going to put on this headband. It's um, from the brand I Do Care. You can get it at Ulta and they sell like, it's like Korean skincare brand. I'm gonna put this on my head. Oh, it's so dirty, it's so unattractive. Anyway, so we're gonna get started. First, I'm going to start off with cleanser. Now, depending on morning or night or how I'm feeling, I have two separate cleansers. The first cleanser I mean, can I get in the video or the mirror? Okay, perfect. The first cleanser, <laughs> the first cleanser, um, I usually use this in the mornings, but I'm not using it today. Um, this is the um, Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser, and it's actually really nice, and it's really, really gentle. So if I'm just like, you know, want a little, a little bit of a refresher or whatever, I'll use this. Maybe, sometimes not, not all the time. But this is my new Holy Grail. I really am into this. My Holy Grail used to be the Peter Thomas Roth Black Irish More, More Mud um, Cleanser, and that was fire. But I discovered a new favorite, and I'm very, 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 very excited to like showcase this because this is like the truth. This is the um, Use to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. It's in this glass bottle. It's really, really, really nice. Oh, it really saved my skin, people. It saved my skin. Anyway, it's really, really nice. I got it from Sephora. It's like around, I want to say 30-ish dollars. 30-ish dollars. And this is the truth. 
Anyway, it smells really good. It smells, if you like, not like, if you like drink green juices and stuff like that, it smells like a green juice. Anyway, let's get started. So, I'm gonna start off by getting one pump in my hand. And usually, people typically they um, wet their face first before they wash their face, you know, like they say in the bottle. But I don't do that. I wet my hand first and then put it on my skin because I feel like that works a little bit better. Um, so, it's gonna be a little pad of water. Rub that in. And then just work it into my skin. Um, also, I use my hands. I don't use a spin brush because um, spin brushes, from what I've read and heard, um, they just move the bacteria around in your face. So you're not really cleaning it as much as you think you are. So that's why I don't. I preferably use my hands. Um, I'm going to work it in for 60 seconds. Oh, and make sure, I already washed my hands before I did this, but make sure you, if you're using your hands to wash your face, that you wash your hands, because I know pro people probably don't, I don't know what you people do, but you're supposed to, you're supposed to um, make sure your hands are clean because you're touching your face and like, you don't want to put bacteria on your face, like, you know, that, that defeats the purpose of washing it, I feel like, so, it's going to work it in, this is a little bit more than 60 seconds, but I just want to make sure this is working all the way. Also, if anybody has like music that they want to showcase on here, I will gladly take it because I need music because I tried to film like before I took my little 50 year hiatus. I tried to film a, um, I did a full face of Polly Cosmetics about everything myself and then it got copyright stricken because of the music. So I thought it was, I thought it was free music, but apparently it wasn't and I was really pissed. Now, sorry, the water is really loud. The water pressure in here is like really high. Anyway, um, now I'm gonna just rinse my face off and um, yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna pat dry. You don't want to tug on your skin though because if you tug like um especially in downward motions i especially in downward motions because like when you're putting skincare on like creams and stuff like that serums you want to use upward motions because it lifts your skin and if you use downward motions it's going to give you um premature like aging and wrinkles and stuff and we're not trying to be out here old we're trying to be you know out here looking succulent and plump people Okay, next we're going to use a toner. And I use two types of toners, depending. Um, if this is this was a hydrating mist, I got it from Smith Market. It's really, really nice. Um, it has rose water, it's like a rose face mist. Um, but I put, I used it all, so I replaced it with the Thayer's Rose Witch Hazel, and that is also the truth. But today, I switched between two, and I use that one, and I use the Pixie Glow Tonic, and this has glycolic acid in it. I'm trying to get rid of my acne scars, so I use this. Don't use this every single day of your life, though, because you're gonna like burn your skin. You don't want to do that because you're gonna be using glycolic acid. But I do like this because it is a chemical exfoliant, so you're not using like the granules, and granules can give you micro tears. We're not getting into the whole. Well, not scrub debate, people. I'm not here for that. Anyway, you're gonna put you're gonna put a little bit on the cotton round, and you're just going to smooth it on your skin. And I use upward motions while doing this too, just because I'm not trying to tug or pull. And make sure you get under your neck because a lot of people miss underneath their neck. And when you do your makeup, you know your makeup sometimes sits underneath there, and you can break out. And neck acne is not fun or cool. Like it really actually sucks. So I advise you guys not to do that so I'm just gonna smooth it all over my face get underneath my chin there okay cool that gross. now we're gonna wait for that wait for that to dry a little bit oh I didn't even show you what they looked like I showed you in here whatever I'm not even gonna be the whole beauty like we're not doing that today. I did that in my other video and I already said that I don't like it and we're not doing that again. Mm -mm. So, now my face is dry. We are going to go in with 
serums. I use two different serums. I'm sorry. I like, I don't know, with my skincare, I like to, you know, double up on certain things because some things do some things and other things do other things. And when you mix them together, they do the two things that you want them to do, you know? So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go in with my Pacifica Glow Baby um, Booster Serum. And this has glycolic acid also and vitamin C. That's why I say you can't use this stuff every day, but certain times a week I will use this stuff because I'm trying to get rid of my acne scars and, you know, I wanna brighten my skin. That's my main concern. I have yeah, two little breakouts. My skin was looking a little bit better but I'm breaking out a little a little smidgen a little tad but it won't be like that forever I'm going to take one like you know one little you know droplet full and then I'm just going to put it on my skin like this oh shoot it wasn't nothing was even coming out I'm dead forehead nose bridge chin okay now we're going to smooth it on out I spread it and then I tap it into the skin so it can absorb a little bit better. And so we're like not wiping any of it away. Okay, now that that's on, I'm going to go on with another serum. This is the Lancome Genifique. This is really expensive, but I had a sample, so I'm just gonna use this before I crack open the big bottle because Girl, absolutely not. I'm so I'm just going to take a little dropper full like this. Just a little bit on my cheeks like that, forehead, nose bridge, chin. Try to get all this up the dropper. Okay. It's kind of like anti-aging, just. And this one I smooth on. The other serum was a little bit thinner, so it was better to pat that one in. Okay, now my my last last up is usually putting lip balm on, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm about to hop in the shower and I gotta do my makeup anyway, so we're not gonna get into that. But, all oh, my hands are literally in the screen and I'm talking in the mirror. That's really funny to me. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go in with moisturizer and I use the um, Tatcha um, water cream. It's a gel cream formula, so it suits oily skin best. And my skin is combination, but sometimes it's on the oily side. And this is a really like thin formula. Like it's not super thick. It feels like like you know it's soaking into your skin. It feels really good. It feels like water to be completely honest. But I really, really like it. And I used to use a spatula because when it comes to creams and stuff like that, you don't want to really use your finger fingers to like dip in and put it on your face because you're like you know you're putting the bacteria from your fingers inside the jar and that's just not good if you want like good skincare. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna use this little spatula that I came with and I'm just going to smooth it on the four corners of my face, so my cheeks, my forehead, nose bridge, upper lip then chin and that little pea size is enough you don't need you you don't want to, like you know waste product especially girl you don't want to waste product because that's you know you're wasting your money girl so now we're going to smooth this on our skin our nose and then forehead actually hold up I'm gonna get my lip balm so we can have the full effect okay so the last step is lip balm and the lip balm that I really love like this is really the best lip balm I've ever tried in the history of life maybe I just haven't used enough lip balm but I do love lip balm because my lips like growing up I like really, I have big lips and growing up like I didn't really care about that sort of stuff so like my aunt, they, my lips were always chapped as a kid it was so gross. So like my aunt would always have like this little pot of Carmex and always smear it on me because my lips were like that bad. So like growing up like I, like after that, like after having a childhood filled with chapped lips all the time it's so gross. Oh my god, like, just saying it out loud and showing it to a bunch of people on the internet is kind of embarrassing but like I always had chapped lips. So. 
I always try to make sure my lips are moisturized because that's just not a fun thing, especially when like you have like dry skin and your lips are disgusting. Like it's like gross. Like uh, I just can't even get into that. Whatever. So I'm just going to take the Jack Black um, Lemon and Shea Butter Lip Balm. This is so good. Like if you leave it on overnight and then wake up, your lips are so soft. Like it's really like one of the best lip balms of all time. Besides this, my other favorite is the um, Glossier Bomb.com. I love the coconut one. That also, the truth. Oh, I love skincare so much. Anyway, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my lips. You guys know how to apply lip balm. I don't think I have to really tell you guys that. This is a men's brand and they sell it at Ulta, but girl, I will still use it. Anyway, and that's it. <laughs> thank you for watching and everybody who's, everybody who's stuck around, thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate it. Um, I will be more consistent, I promise. This isn't the last. My cousin told me that this will be the last or I would never post this video and I would never do a, a video ever again because I haven't posted since May and it's literally the end of December. So. Thank you for watching. Come back again. I'll be posting soon. I'll have a, I'll try to like make a filming schedule so this won't be like anticipated or like not being consistent. I feel like this is a great video to film and I'm very excited that everybody stuck around. So I will see you in the next video guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.